We are choking our oceans with plastic. The scientists estimate that 8 million tons of plastic is being dumped into the ocean each year. And that's pretty scary because we're choking the ocean and we're also choking all the birds and the marine life that lives in the ocean because they can't tell the difference between food and plastic and it's just it's just sad if you watch any of these videos where they actually cut the bird open once they you know they find the dead birds they'll cut their stomach open and it's just full of plastic and it's just scary and we need to start changing our ways I think and I think that we need to start changing our mindset on how we view plastic hey guys so today I want to talk to you Hopefully you can hear me. I know it's super windy. I'm here at the beach and I wanted to film outside just because it's so gorgeous here, but it gets to be hard because it's so windy right now. So I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about the things that I do to try to help the environment. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm on this mission of trying to be a better steward to the environment. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about the things that I'm doing so far and things that I could continue to improve on. So I'm not sure if you heard of this movement called the Zero Waste Movement, but basically what it is, is it's trying exactly what it says. It's trying to eliminate the amount of waste that people are producing. And if you look it up, you can see many um, YouTube's videos about it. But I can't say that I'm completely zero waste just because I know on the mainland I watch a lot of videos and they talk about um, being able to go to these bulk stores and when I think bulk I think Costco but that's not what it is. Apparently they can take their mason jars and go and fill up oils or shampoos or conditioners so they're eliminating all that plastic um, that that is being used. So it's an awesome concept and I wish we had it here. If we do have it maybe I just don't know about it. If you know about it please share with me so I can go there. If there's any entrepreneurs out there thinking about coming to Hawaii, you could do that. But um, So I'm just going to go through a quick little list of what I try to do to just be helpful as I can. <laughs> so um, hopefully my camera doesn't fall over because it's fallen over three times so far. I got my bag of goodies here. And so the first thing, obviously, I'm pretty sure most of us do is use these reusable cups at Starbucks. I put a cute little skull on mine. So, so yes, I use this cup when I go anywhere. Even if I don't go to Starbucks, I still use this cup. And thankfully, everybody, all the coffee shops and normal shops that I go to, they have no problem with me bringing in a competitor's cup because if they had one of their own, I'd buy it, but they don't. So. And I, I also choose to only go to coffee places that allow me to use it. So it's important that we support, I think it's important that we support um, businesses that are environmentally friendly. So I do that. Um, I bring this bag with me. And it's cute because it's compact and it fits in my purse. And then you can take it out and it becomes a reusable bag when I'm at the grocery store. So I'm eliminating the um, plastic bags that I'm using. So that little thing um, gets turned into this big bag. See it? I hope you can see it. Let me model it for you. Oh, oh. I try to reuse, um, I bring a bowl to work and I eat out all the time because I'm single and it's just cheaper to eat out. And so when I eat out, I don't want to be using, I want to eliminate my single use plastics for one. And I also want to eliminate the styrofoam that I'm trying to use. So what I do is I bring my own bowl to um, these restaurants. And so I work downtown in the business district here in Honolulu. And thankfully they have all the small mom and pop kind of restaurants and they're super um, 
supportive of me using my reusable bowl so it's just basically one of these but this is not the one I actually use I always keep the one that I use at work so I just brought this for the sake of the video but yeah I just bring reusable Tupperware and then so I bring it empty I wash it and then whenever whenever I bring it to the restaurants they just fill it up with whatever I order and they let me use that and it's much easier to do so with the smaller restaurants the smaller restaurants that are not chain owned it's so frustrating stop being so windy please <laughs> okay okay don't worry friends we're gonna get through this okay so I'm back and I'm at home in a much calmer environment with no wind interrupting us so let's just get back into it so another thing I use is reusable silverware well I guess it's not silverware <laughs> reusable utensils I should say and again this is also tiny and compact and I can fit it in my purse so it has everything I need um, so you can see it so it has a knife spoon fork chopsticks and this one it, they're wooden and the company is called to go wear and I don't know how much it costs this was actually a gift to me from one of my co-workers and then I also bought but I'll put links in the description below so you can see how to order all this stuff if you want to order your own stuff and then I also bought these stainless steel straws and I got I think it was a pack of four for $4.99 on eBay. And then I was also worried about how am I gonna wash it, but when you buy the pack of four, it comes with a, like a silver um, cleaning thing. It's a wire silver thing with a sponge at the ending and you can um, wash your straws with that sponge thing they give you. Uh, okay, I also do reusable water bottles because there is a lot of plastic water bottles and it's wreaking havoc on the environment as you guys probably know um, reusable saran wrap and this is reusable and washable it's made out of um, I believe it's beeswax and organic cotton so they said that it's supposed to last up to a year and again, this one was a gift, so I don't really know how much it costed, but the name of this one is called Melee Wraps, and I'll again put the link if you wanna order them. But it's a pretty cool concept, so you don't have to throw away saran wrap. You can just use this one and you just kind of rub. If you add heat to it, it will kind of um, mold together. Okay, and also what I have is reusable and washable Ziploc bags. And I have little ones too. See. These I got a pack, they were on sale. I got eight of them for, wait, yeah, eight, eight of them for $6 at Long's. And this is not a local company. This one, I'll put the link in the description. Okay, I also do, I also make my own lip balm instead of using the plastic chapstick things. I make my own reusable lip balm and if you want to make your own lip balm, I have a video that you can watch if you want to do it. So, the thing I, that I love about making my own lip balm is these containers. It's just nostalgic. I love the containers. So, I just wash them and reuse them and then I make my lip balm. So fun okay anyways I do have a car but I take the bus to and from work here's my bus pass but yeah that's also helpful I would like 
like to have a tiny home, but because I'm in Hawaii, it might just be a boat. We'll see how this journey goes for that. I feel, I just did my shopping and I feel a little ridiculous. I feel defeated because I'm trying to eliminate all my plastic use and I just came from Costco. And everything's wrapped in plastic, everything. Yeah, so I'm on this mission of being trying to be better to the environment and I'm trying to move towards a zero waste movement and I thought I was doing a good job because I do certain things that make me feel like I'm being better but when I go grocery shopping and like just now I just realized like how far I am like the zero waste movement is like a complete it's like a shift of lifestyle and I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that it can be certainly challenging because it's freaking expensive in Hawaii. And so I go to Costco and I buy, you know, I buy all my stuff there because it's so much cheaper to do so. But it's hard. And when I was in the grocery store, I noticed everything is wrapped in plastic. And it's not just, I definitely want to be better to the environment, but it's also a financial thing. I mean... And I just felt defeated and I felt like maybe I'm just being dumb by trying to, to think that I could, <laughs> that maybe I'm just being dumb and naive to think that I can make any difference on the planet because here I was thinking I was on such a, I was on a mission of making a video today to show like what I thought was a good thing for the environment and I just had an epiphany while I was shopping that I'm so far from the zero waste movement. And it just kind of opened my eyes and made me realize that I have a far way to go if I'm if I want to be better to the environment I guess it means that I just have to try a little bit harder to look for solutions like meat for example how do you get meat without without it being wrapped up in plastic I mean for those of us who don't dive and are not Kimmy Werner and can just go in on, out into the ocean and catch your dinner and lunch, like, what about the rest of us who have nine to five jobs who want to make a difference in the environment but still need to be able to afford? Ugh. So I just have to have to report an honest perspective of where I'm coming from right now. But I guess just, it is an eye opener and it just makes me realize that I have a long ways to go. So these are the things that I try to do to eliminate my use of plastics. Um, I know that I still have a long ways to go. <laughs> that, that became very apparent apparent to me today but it's good it's good to be aware of things you know um oh I feel that we should make I want to make this kind of stuff the norm and not the exception and people do think that I'm naive and thinking that this makes a difference but what I think that it really comes down to is that you always have a choice you can choose to be part of the problem or you can choose to be part of the solution and I'm trying to be part of a solution and I know it's an ongoing learning process, but I think that it's worth doing and I think that the ocean is worth fighting for.